Please welcome Jay Ponazeki and Irene Hirano Inoue. Thank you very much, Royanne, and good morning. On behalf of the ACCJ, I'm deeply honored to welcome all of you to the second annual Women in Business Summit. We're very pleased to co-host this groundbreaking event with the US-Japan Council. Today's summit will set the gold standard for promoting the ACCJ's three pillars, making practical solutions-based recommendations to overcome challenging issues, sharing information, and bringing people together. In the 1990s, I first heard Kathy Matsui of Goldman Sachs discuss before a group of about 30 professional women, Japan's unique M-shaped curve and how women were Japan's most underutilized asset. It's terrific seeing so many women and men here today to discuss important issues that affect all of us. As many of you know, Kathy and her colleagues noted in a 2010 report titled Womenomics 3.0, The Time Is Now, that closing the employment gap between men and women in the Japanese workplace could increase GDP by as much as 15%. We applaud Prime Minister Shinzo Abe for including Womenomics in his growth strategy for Japan and for pledging to have women in 30% of all leadership positions across sectors by 2020. This has resulted in a needed increased awareness of just how underrepresented women are in Japanese management and how that is bad for the Japanese economy and for all of us. And in making womenomics now being widely discussed as a core component of fostering sustained economic growth in Japan. The time really is now, as there's a tremendous amount of ground to cover by 2020. As of April 2013, the female participation rate for women 15 to 64 was approximately 63%, representing a slight increase from 60% in 2007. That may sound good, but as of May 2011, only 505 of the executives of the 3,608 publicly listed companies in Japan were women. That's only 1.2%. As of May 2013, the female mid and senior manager ratio in Japan was 11.1%, much lower than many other countries. For example, the ratio in the Philippines was 52.7%, the US 43%, and France 38.7%. We hope this summit will be a key stepping stone in moving from an aspirational discussion of the need for change to taking decisive action. Your job today is to speak together in support of change by providing practical solutions-based recommendations on how to advance the role of Japanese women in the workplace and how to create a seamless support system for Japanese working women and men. In addition to changes that need to be implemented at the government and business levels, realizing the benefits of womenomics in Japan needs a broad-based mindset change. The thinking of individuals, that of both women and men, needs to change. That may end up being one of the hardest things we face, but it is inherently doable. There are many ways to accomplish this, which is why an event like this, bringing women and men together to collaborate and cooperate in finding solutions is so important. Your job tomorrow and each day thereafter, inside and outside your workplace, until 2020 and beyond, is to be an agent of change. Throughout this summit, please think about the role you can play in affecting change. Let's make the most of this tremendous opportunity, and let's pledge together to do two things. To create an action-oriented momentum that will result in real changes being made before 2020, and to make sure we don't settle back into old routines and mindsets after we leave this hotel at the end of the day. Thank you very much. Good morning, what an exciting day. On behalf of the US-Japan Council, I am so pleased to welcome each of you to this morning's summit. We are honored to work with the ACCJ on this second women's event. 
A special thank you to Roy Ann Doy for the extraordinary work that she has done, a true leader and an organizer who also serves on the Board of Directors of the US Japan Council. The large number of participants and the enthusiasm and the buzz in this room will guarantee that this is truly going to be a historic gathering and already a big success. The US Japan Council is a nonprofit organization organized in both the United States and in Japan. It brings together Japanese American leaders working with other Americans and Japanese leaders to advance the mission of building a strong people to people relationship at the business, the government, and the civil society level. Many of our board members and council members from the United States have joined our leadership and members in Japan to support this event today. I hope that you will meet many of them throughout the course of the day. As Roy Ann mentioned, the US Japan Council partners with the US Embassy to administer the Tomodachi Initiative, which is dedicated to building the next generation of young Americans and Japanese through cross-cultural exchanges and leadership development. Many of the alumni from that program are with, us, uh, are with us this morning, and I'm so pleased to see them. We are so honored to have Ambassador Caroline Kennedy with us this morning to make opening remarks. She is to be uh, congratulated for advocating in her way the equality of women in Japan. This summit draws together women and men who share the common goal of advancing opportunities for women in Japan and in the US. We will hear inspiring stories from each of our speakers and panelists, but every person in this room has a story that you can share throughout the course of the day. What is equally important in a gathering like this is what happens as a result of this summit. The advancement of women today and in the future is not a women's issue. It is a societal issue and a global issue. The efforts by the Prime Minister and other leaders in Japan must be coupled with broad-based support from every walk of life in Japan. Everyday parents, grandparents, male and female co-workers must become part of the change that will be required to enable women to have true choices and to be able to proudly choose to have a career, to be a homemaker, to be a mother, or all of those roles. The corporate policies and government policies are critical, but we need to ensure that cultural shifts and acceptance of change is required in order for true change to happen. As someone who participated in and benefited from the changes of the status of women in America, I am confident that the dialogue today will be an important step forward in our work. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being a part of the work that we do. And we look forward to a fabulous day. Thank you.